So you came to me in order to learn a really cool trick, kind of riff thing that's going to impress anyone, and it's not too, too hard. It is beginner friendly, but I'm going to assume you know what a fret and all those really, really basic stuff are. So let's do it. Let's do it and knock their socks off. Socks is what the heck am I saying? Okay, to start off, I'm just going to say you don't need to use a pick or a finger style. It's your preference, okay? I'm going to use my fingers, doesn't matter. So, starting off, the first chord you probably learned, E minor. Okay, you got that much down. If you haven't met this guy yet, it's on the second fret of the A string up here, and the second fret of the D string over here. And you put them together, you hold them down, and you strum it. But we're not going to be strumming all of it. Let me show you. We're going to be just strumming the lower strings, and it's going to sound kind of bassy and kind of cool. So. Start with a double strum right there. Next, we're jumping in these things called power chords, also known as fifth chords, but you don't need to understand any of this. And the shape looks like this. We're gonna put it on the G right here. It's the low E string though. And then you have one finger on the, there, and then on the fifth fret of the A and the fifth fret of the D, and it's this shape. That's what it sounds like. Okay. Now what I want you to do is you're going to keep this shape, but you're going to move it up. So you have this shape, you hold it, then you move up. Okay? So now you're on the A with this shape. The A, this is an A note, but this is the low E string. Don't want to get you confused. Okay, now you have your three shapes, and I'm going to introduce one more, just one more. So you're going to keep the shape and just move them all down one string. So now... Your index finger is on the fifth fret of the A string. So you got this. You have your three chords. Okay, you're cool. Now for the start of this thing, we're gonna be strumming these kind of four chords, okay? So I'll show you what it looks like. You don't have to do it at this speed. It sounds impressive no matter how you go. So I'll give you an example. Kind of like that, you can vary it and do whatever you want. Just, just tinker with it, okay? It's gonna sound cool, and they're power chords. You need the power, my friend. Now let's introduce some more notes to our chord progression, okay? They're gonna be going on the high E string and the B string, okay? So the pattern we're playing is in the E and the B strings, and you don't have to copy me, you can play what sounds good to you. So the pattern would be, you're on the six, five, three, six on the B string, three, five, back on the E, so. And then you're gonna go up for when you play the next one. I'll show you, it'll be simple. And then you go for, to the, the eight on the e, high E. Same pattern, eight, seven, five. And then you go eight on the B string, five, seven. Okay, so the way we'll be playing this is we'll strum the low E, the E minor as usual. Then we go to our fifth chord, the first one, and then after this one, we play that the first part of that arpeggio kind of thing. So then we go back to our E minor, then we go to our second fifth, then we go to our second pattern. Okay, pretty good. So it looks like this. It's like building tension, making it all sound really cool. Okay, what do we do after that? Let's go back to our E minor once again. Let's drum it a few times, and then let's make it the E. So we take away the minor part of it. So what that is, you keep your two fingers there, add your index finger to the G, the very first fret. Now it's major. Minor, major. Quick tutorial for you there. Now let's take that fifth chord shape that you learned, and now we're gonna put it in the different spot. It's gonna go in the third fret of the A string. So you originally had one over here at the fifth, see? So you just bring it down 
over there, okay? And then what we're gonna be playing is we're gonna have the minor. And we're gonna change it to major with that, with that extra one on the G sharp. And then we're gonna bring it here to this, this new fifth chord. And then bring it to the old fifth chord down there. Cool, huh? I'll play it fast, you can see what it's like. Yep, and you can repeat it, yes. Now after those couple of strums you put there, those next two fifth chords, let's go back to our E minor. Strum it once, we'll strum up and down, and that's the end. You know that classic ending with the guitar? Yeah, you got it. Now here's a possible way that you can play the finished version. All right, let's see it. You finally did it! You have the tools in your arsenal to impress your friends and everyone else. But if you're thinking, well, this is too easy, I have something for you. Check this out. It's a little bit harder. I believe in you though.